In this video, we're going to start making our WordPress theme more modular. We're, we're going to start slicing it up into pieces. And to help us do that, WordPress gives us these template files that are recognized by WordPress. These three files right here, the footer, header, and sidebar.php files. So we're, so we're going to be creating those in this video. And then we're going to go into the single and the index pages that we already created. And we're going to cut them up. We're going to cut the headers out of them, the footers out of them, and then put them into these files that we, these new files that we're going to create. And then to wire everything together, to glue everything together, we're going to use these three functions that WordPress gives us to pull in uh, the header and the footer and the sidebar into our index page. So let's first go check out our code before we get into that. So I'm going to move this off to the side. And here you can see the header section of our index page and the single page here are the same this section here and this is a very bad practice to continuously repeat yourself with code so wordpress has a solution for this so what we do is we create a header.php file just cut this out here and then just paste this into the header.php file but before we start doing that let's go out and check out the documentation on the web and see how we could use this so here in WordPress documentation, they show you how to create a template file, or they show you all the template files you can actually use. Up here is a whole list of them that we're going to be getting into pretty soon, some of them anyways. But down here are the three that we're going to be creating in this video. And then WordPress has a way, has these functions so you can wire everything together. Let's say get the header, so you can pull in the header.php file when you use this function. But also you could pull in custom made documents. And I remember when I first started creating WordPress themes, I was trying to make a custom header. Like I had 15 pages that I was just using the original header, but I wanted one custom header for this one individual page. And I could not figure out for the life of me how to do it. Like I was using a bunch of if statements, I was hacking up the code, making a big mess, and it turned into a big nightmare. And then I never realized you could create a custom header dot php file and pass it in through here never knew that so let's go ahead and check that out while we're here so i'm just going to open this in a new tab and right here it shows you that you could create a custom header php file and then just pass that file right here and then you can have a custom header in whatever document you want so it's really good to go in and check out this documentation take a look around you might learn something new so um let's go back to our code and we're going to go and create these two these three documents and start cutting up our index page. So right here at the root of our theme, just right click and we're going to create three files. One is the header and the footer and also the sidebar. Okay, great. So I guess we'll start in the header. We'll work on that first. So I'll just get rid of these. And then inside of the index, we're going to go all the way to the top and just cut all this out all the way down to the header. Cut that. And just throw that right in the header here. Great. So now we need to figure out a way to wire this he header to our index. And we're going to use that get header function. Um, if we go back to the documentation here, and uh, right here, so we're not going to be creating no custom headers in this video. We're going to actually be creating custom documents in later videos. But for now, we're just going to use the original header.php file. So I'm just going to copy this. And just go back to there and just we're just going to toss it right in here in the index page. Okay, and then get rid of that name and we'll leave it empty. We're, we're using the original header.php file. Okay, great. So now let's go into the single page and do the same thing. Save this. Go back here and then we'll get rid of this header section. And we'll get rid of this. Okay, great. So now we're cleaning up our code and we're just using one snippet out of the header.php file to fill in both of these documents. So that's making our code a lot cleaner and lighter. So let's save this, save the header, and let's close this header down. Now we need to do the sidebar and the footer. And before we do that, actually, let's go and add some text here so we know we're in the header.php file. 
this is just temporary i'm coming back later in a later video i'm just going to get rid of all of these but i'm just going to put like header.php or something like that okay great and then also i'm just going to add a class so i can so i could just target this one header okay great so now uh, let's go save this and then i'm just going to open up the footer and we'll start working on that so open this up and then we'll go do the exact same thing we're going to go down here we're going to cut out the footer section so cut that jump over here paste that in there then we got to use that function again down here at the bottom so i'm just going to go out to documentation and right here just copy this I might as well get the sidebar in there too. copy both of them and then just jump down here and we'll paste that in the sing single and the index so right here great and right in the single we'll go down here and get rid of this footer all this okay so that should pull in our footer.php file and now i'm just going to go and add a class footer do the exact same thing i did in the header and the only reason i'm doing this is just so i can style it a little later and then we can see it a little bit better uh, what documents that are being pulled into our template or our theme and then i'm just going to put an h1 tag here temporarily and call this footer.php okay great so now uh, that is done save that and we can save this we're done in these and this looks good and now let's go create our sidebar so let's open up that sidebar document we created i'm going to just close these down we're done in there for now and we got to create this sidebar from scratch so i'm just going to create a div i'm not going to put much into it just a div and then uh, h1 inside of that i guess we'll call this sidebar and create a h1 tag again all right and then save that now all we need to do is add in some style and we're ready for testing so we're going to just open up that css file we got and then i'm just going to do exactly what we did here it's just add some colors some borders i'm just going to time lapse it but uh because i'm not really concerned about showing styles or anything and then uh, we'll go and test it okay great so this is just some basic styling right here some borders and then the uh h1 color i'm just changing that like i did in a prior video nothing special okay so let's just save that now we're ready for testing so we're just going to go into the browser and pull up our site okay great so let's refresh it and see what it looks like so as you can see our header i i got to put a dot there but our header is kicking in great and down here we got a sidebar and we got a footer and if we go to the single dot php we got the same results okay great now keep in mind when you refresh it and you, if your styles don't kick in you could always clean out the cache by going over here to more tools in chrome anyways and clearing your your browsing data history or you could always go down and restart your WAMP server and that should make your styles kick in because sometimes when I refresh it, the styles don't kick in like they're supposed to. Okay, great. So now in the next video, we're going to go back to working on post and we're, we're going to add comments to our single.php file. So I'll see you then.